hello welcome to my youtube channel please do well to subscribe to this channel click that subscribe button you have down there and turn the notification button on so that you keep getting updates every time i upload videos thank you so much the rulership of kings remain in ascendant and this is arguably one of the reasons their supremacy and leadership is far better than that of presidents, governors and several other political dignitaries. Although democracy has vested significant authority in presidents, governors and other democratic heads, kings forever maintain their dominance as the most powerful traditional rulers. Nigeria is majorly divided into northern and southern provinces. Um, the northern province is largely dominated by the Hausas, while the southern province is equally dominated by the Yorubas and the Igbos, with only a minority group forming the Middle Belt. As regards the concept of monarchy in Nigeria, the trio of um, Hausa, Igbo and Yoruba treat their kings with absolute respect in the belief that they are representatives of God, that is God, the supreme being. Since Nigerian kings are regarded as dignified personalities, wealth comes to them from various sources. But again, some kings have garnered fortune for themselves and this comes out of their monarchical presence. In fact, a large number of Nigerian kings are known for their engagement in various productive businesses such as oil and gas, real estate and few others. As regards this, it is always fascinating to behold. This time around, we'll be talking about um, the richest kings in Nigeria. The richest kings in Nigeria. We'll be talking about the 10 richest kings that we have in Nigeria. And the first king we'll be talking about is Oba, Oba Teru Akiruto. Obaobateru Akinruton. Obaobateru Akinruton is the royal leader of Ugo, a prominent town in Ondo State. Regarded as the Olugo of Ugo, Obakinruton is one of the notable Yoruba monarchs within and outside Ondo State. At the moment, he is wealth and amazing dignity make him the richest king not only in the yoruba kingdom but also in the entirety of nigeria this particular king is the richest king in the whole of nigeria and he is also known as the second richest king in africa at large Although Ugbo is a very small town, it has a vast deposit of crude oil and this is the main factor behind the amazing wealth of Olugbo of Ugbo land, which is um, Oba Akiruto. Having discovered how he could build a business empire through the oil deposits in Ugo, Obake Ruto initiated his small business, which was a petrol station established many years ago. Though the petrol station was founded as a small enterprise, it eventually expanded into a large oil company. Currently, it distributes oil with the support of its numerous subsidiaries, which are over 50 subsidiaries across Nigeria. Apart from that, Oba Akinruto owns, owns and manages Obat Petroleum, the oil company which controls Africa's largest oil depot. Through this depot, um, Oba 
Opat's petroleum is capable of reserving a large volume of petroleum estimated at 65 million liters. Who exactly is this Oba Obateru Akirunton? You know, his full name is Frederick Obateru Akirunton, and he was born in the year 1950 into the royal family of Sir Frederick Ade Tolugo at Ugo, a riverine area in Ilaje. He is the fourth child of a family of eight, but he lost his father in the year 1964 when he was 14 years old. In 1982, there was a prophecy that Obateru would become the Olugbo of Ugo kingdom, a prophecy he never took seriously. Shortly after the prophecy, a chieftaincy title peculiar to him as the next Olugbo was conferred on his younger brother. This resulted in a lawsuit against the then Olugbo by another royal family in the same lineage who demanded that he should be dethroned with the claim that his family has occupied the seat for over 200 years. The then king lost the case and Obateru was appointed as the king in the year 2009 in accordance with the culture and traditions of Ugo kingdom. Oba Obateru is a Nigerian monarch, the traditional ruler of Ugo kingdom, a town in Ilaje, local government of Undo state, southwestern Nigeria. Oba Obateru has been leading the people of Ugbo since the year 2009 till date. He is an oil magnate and the founder of Obat Oil, one of the Nigeria's largest and leading oil companies. Oba Olugbo of Ugbo Kingdom is the richest king in Yoruba land. Aside from the fact that he is the founder and owner of or bat oil, which makes him own the largest petroleum depot in Africa. He has landed properties both in Nigeria and even in London. He is also into real estate and he owns a popular hotel located in the federal capital territory, Abuja. This wealthy Yoruba monarch is a man of taste, class, and surely knows how to enjoy his riches. He has a luxury of cars inside his palace. He entered the history books when he became the first black person in the year 2012 to buy the 2014 model of Bentley, which Queen Elizabeth of England rode. It is also rumored that the richest Yoruba king in Nigeria also owns the most expensive yacht in Nigeria as he loves traveling by water. His kingdom, Ugo Kingdom, is also a riverine area where he grew up. Now, in March 2014, Forbes estimated his net worth as 300 million US dollars. Yes, you heard me right. 300 million US dollars. He was ranked as the second richest king in Africa and the richest in Nigeria. He surpassed King Olubushetu, the Oni of Ife, with two. 125 million dollars and the Swaziland King Mswati III by over 200 million dollars to become Africa's second richest king in the year 2014. Obawa Teru was the first person to buy the 2014 model of Bentley automobile. The second king we will be talking about is the Sultan of Sokoto who is called Muhammad Saad Abu Bakar. Muhammad Saad 
Abu Bakar. He is the Sultan of Sokoto and he is the second richest king in Nigeria. Yes, you heard me right. He is the second richest king in Nigeria after Oba Obateru. Hakirunton, this king, the Sultan of Sokoto, is considered to be the spiritual leader of northern Nigeria's Muslims, the majority of the nation's population. This um, king uh, was born on August 24, 1956 in Sokoto and uh, he is the youngest son of the 17th Sultan, Sir Sadiq Abu Bakar III, who held the Sultanate for over 50 years. He attended Barawa College in Zaria and he proceeded to the Nigerian Defense Academy in the year 1975 where he was a member of the 18th regular course. On um, 2nd of November in the year 2006, Abu Bakr um, ascended the throne following the death of his brother Muhammadu Masidu who died on ADC Airlines Flight 53. This sad Abu Bakr, the sad Abu Bakr, is reportedly worth 100 million dollars. Yes, you heard me right, 100 million dollars. And that is why he is the second richest king in Nigeria. Abu Bakr was commissioned a second lieutenant in the year 1977 and he served in the elite armored corps. He headed a presidential security unit of the armored corps that guarded then military ruler General Ibrahim Babangida in the late 1980s. Abu Bakr also commanded a battalion of African peacekeepers in Chad during the early 1980s as part of the organization of African Unities Force and was military liaison officer for the economic community of West African states, that is ECOWAS, in the mid-1990s. Um, this sultan, Abu Bakr IV, has fleets of cars. His cars include Rolls Royce 2017. So he is the second richest king in Nigeria. The third richest king we would be talking about is the former emir of Kano, Sanusi Lamido. Sanusi, yes, he is the third richest king in Nigeria. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi was born on 31st July 1961 in Kano to a ruling class Fulani family of the Salubawa clan. He grew up in the palace of his great uncle Ado Bayero, who reigned for over five decades. His father, Aminu Sanusi, was a prince and diplomat who served as the ambassador of, uh, to Belgium, China, and Canada, and later permanent secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He was also the Shirama of Kano and son of Muhammad Sanusi I, who was the 11th Fulani Emir of Kano from 1953 to 1963 when he was deposed by his cousin Sir Amadu Bilu. Um, Sanusi received early religious education at home where he learned Quran and the traditions of Prophet Muhammad. He then attended St. Anne's 
Primary School, a Catholic boarding school in Kaduna, before proceeding to King's College, Lagos, from 1973 to 1977. He received a bachelor's degree in economics from the Amadou Bello University in 1981. After graduating, he spent a year undergoing the National Youth Service as a teacher in a girls' boarding school in Yola. He then returned to the university where he received a master's degree in economics in the year 1983 and lectured at the faculty for two good years. On 8 June 20. 14, Sanusi was selected to succeed his granduncle Ado Bayero as the emir of Kano. His enthronement was controversial then, with some believing that it was a politically motivated move to avoid corruption charges from his tenure at the central bank. Bank. Many expected Bayero's son to succeed him as the emir and protested Sanusi's appointment. He was crowned Saruki Muhammadu Sanusi II on 9th June 2014, the 57th monarch of the ancient city of Kano. On 9 March 2020, Sanusi was dethroned. Sanusi was dethroned by Governor Abdullah Ganduji. As the Emir of Kano then, he had the salary of 40 million naira per year. Yes, the federal government of Nigeria was paying him 40 million naira per year. And this was why he was able to purchase luxury of vehicles and he could even brag about owning fleets of automobiles. Um, he recently purchased the most recent model of Rolls Royce and this caused a lot of people in Nigeria to talk about the, it because of the price of the vehicle. In addition to the most up-to-date model of the Rolls Royce, Sanusi also has a Rolls Royce Silver Ride ALW11 from 1952. This is an inherited vehicle that has been passed down from one generation of emirs of Kano to the next. His net worth is $80 million. His net worth, according to Forbes, is $80 million. And that is why he is the third richest king in Nigeria. The fourth richest king um, in Nigeria is um, Oba Adeyeye Eneto Oguwosi Ojaja II, who is the Oni of Ilefe. Yes, he is the fourth richest king in Nigeria. This king was born on 17th of October in the year 1974, and he is the 51st and the current Oni of Ilefe. He is the traditional ruler monarch of the Yoruba kingdom of it was said that his birth was predicted years before he was conceived and that was why the name Enito was given to him by his mother while his grandfather named him Adeyeye which means the crown befits the throne. He is the fifth child in a family of seven. He started his elementary education in Subuola Memorial Nursery and Primary School, Ibadan and Ibadan District Council, Akobo, Ibadan. He then proceeded to Loyola 
College, Ibadan, and later to St. Peter's Secondary School, Ilefe, where he received the secondary school certificate, the SSC. The SSC. He graduated as an accountant from the Polytechnic, Ilefe. Oni Adeyeye Ogubusi was selected from the Gesi ruling house of Ilefe amongst indigenous who were also heirs to the throne on 26 October 2015. He received his staff of office on the 7th December 2015. He has been described as an astute entrepreneur driven by the need to turn impossibilities to possibilities. Oba Oguwusi is the spiritual leader of the Yoruba people, now saddled with the responsibility of making supplications to God and the Orisha on behalf of his people and the world at large during annual festivals such as Olojo Festival. Aside from the authority and the power he enjoys in the, in Yoruba country, the Oni is also rated as one of the most revered kings in the world. This is in addition to the authority and power he holds in Yoruba territory. Oba Adeyeye Ogowosi Enito, he is not only a member of the royal family, but he also holds the position of chancellor at the University of Nigeria, Unzika, and is a successful businessman in the real estate sector. The Oni of Ife is an avid collector of automobiles, particularly luxurious imports from other countries. His Rolls Royce Phantom is undoubtedly one of the most opulent automobiles in his collection, and that is Rolls Royce's the 2011 model. He also has a Mercedes Benz um, S550 and two. Bentley's in his garage in addition to his Rolls Royce. It is estimated that um Obadeyeyo Oguwusi Enito, the owner of Ife, has a net worth of approximately $70 million. Oh, you heard me right. $70 million, which places him among the top 10 richest kings in Nigeria. The next king we would be talking about who is the fifth richest king in Nigeria is Oba Owari II, Ogidigan. Yes, he is the Oba of Benin, Oba Owari II, Ogidigon. Now he is the fruit, he is the fifth richest king in Nigeria. As the traditional monarch of the Benin Kingdom and the fifth richest king in all of Nigeria, Obaiwaretu to Ogidigon is a formidable figure. He holds tremendous amount of authority, power, and influence in the nation. Obaiwara to Ogidigon earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics from the University of Wales in the United Kingdom and the Master of Public Administration degree from Rutgers University Graduate School in New Jersey, United States. The Obar of Benin also serves a in the role of Nigeria's ambassador in a number of other countries. He resides in a magnificent palace that was constructed to meet the requirements of a king of international standing. He is the 40th Obar of the Benin Kingdom and his name is Oba Ewaretu Ogidigon. In addition to the other vehicles in his collection, um, the Arbor of Benin possesses a Royal Royce Phantom model 2016 that is said to be worth more than 150 million naira. Yes. 
because of his approximately 60 million in um 60 million dollars in net worth or by Ware to Ogidigo is considered to be one of the top 10 richest kings in all of Nigeria yes his net worth is approximately 60 million dollars 60 million dollars so that makes him the fifth richest king in Nigeria now, the sixth richest king in Nigeria is Naimeka Alfred Ugochuku Achebe, who is the Obi of Onicha. The Obi of Onicha is the sixth richest king in Nigeria, and his net worth is about $50 million. Now, Naimeka, the Obi of Onicha, Alfred Ugochuku Achebe, is ranked as the sixth richest king in all of Nigeria. Achebe also holds the title of Obi. There is no denying that he is one of the most influential monarchs in the eastern region of Nigeria. The king has established a strong reputation both in the realm of royalty and in the world of business. In the past, he has held the position of Chancellor at Amadu Bello University in Zaria, as well as the position of Executive Director at Shaw Petroleum Development Company. The Arbor of Onicha, Naimeka Alfred Ugochuku Achebe, is considered to be one of the wealthiest kings in all of Nigeria. One of his most prized possessions is a Rolls Royce um, with the model year of 2016 and the prize tag of no less than 100 million. One of the top 10 richest kings in Nigeria, the Obi of Onicha, has an estimated net worth of over 50 million dollars so he has an estimated net worth of over 50 million dollars and this makes him the sixth richest king in nigeria the seventh richest king in nigeria is obalamidi adeyemi obalamidi adeyemi he was the alafi of oyo Yes, he was the Alafi of Oyo and um, he joined his ancestors this year. He joined, but when he was alive, he was the seventh richest king in Nigeria. The Alafi um, is famous not only for his extravagant lifestyle, but also for the many stunning wives he has. Yes, he has so many wives and they are beautiful, they are gorgeous, they are all stunning wives. Obalamidi Adeyemi is an avid fan of sports utility vehicles, SUVs, and um, in addition to his collection of automobiles, he has a long limousine, a Toyota Land Cruiser, and a Lexus GX470. It is estimated that Obalamidi Adeyemi had a net worth of approximately four mil forty million dollars. Forty million dollars when he was alive. His net worth was approximately forty million dollars. Because of this, he is ranked as the as one of the top ten richest kings in Nigeria, and that made him number seven in the list. Now, the number eight king in the list is Oba Babatunde Aremu Akiolu, the Oba of Lagos. This Oba of Lagos is the eighth richest king in Nigeria. He is the eighth richest king in Nigeria and his name is Obababatunde Aremu Akiolu. The 
Ober of Lagos is someone that cannot be ignored among the traditional rulers that we have in Le uh, in Nigeria. He is a significant figure in Nigeria's history. It goes without saying that he is one of the wealthiest rulers in all of Nigeria. Um, the prosperous king had completed his studies for a bachelor of laws degree at the university of lagos and he spent about 32 years working for the nigerian police force just the palace of the Oba of lagos is estimated to be worth up to two billion naira on its own yes the palace of Oba of lagos on is estimated to be about worth about two billion naira. Um, the king himself is in possession of a great deal of property and wealth. A 2016 Mercedes Benz S550 with a price tag of more than 34 million naira is one of the finest automobiles that can be found in the collection of this Lagos State King. It is estimated that Oba Babatunde Aremu Akiolu has a net worth of $40 million. His net worth is $40 million and that makes him the eighth richest king in Nigeria. The next king we would be talking about is Godfrey Emiko, the Olu of Wari. Um, the Olu of Wari, Godfrey Emiko, is the ninth richest king in Nigeria. Because of his abundance of wealth, he is considered to be one of the top 10 richest kings in all of Nigeria. He rules over the region of Nigeria known as the Niger Delta, where he also exercises control over all over the oil and gas resources. It is reasonable to assume that at least some of the king's riches originate from the petroleum and natural gas industries. It would appear that Godfrey Emiko de Olu of Worry does not have a passion for automobiles because he is rarely seen driving a fancy vehicle. It is interesting to note that this king doesn't flaunt his wealth by driving about in a flashy car. It is reported that the Olu of Wari has a net worth of $30 million, making him one of the wealthiest kings in all of Nigeria. His net worth of um, $30 million makes him the ninth richest king in Nigeria. Now, the Tenth richest king, the tenth richest king we have in Nigeria is uh, the Dane of Agbo, who is Benjamin Ikechuku Keagborekuzi one. Yes, he is the tenth richest king in Nigeria. In the state of Delta, Benjamin Ikechuku Keagborekuzi holds the position of a traditional head of the Agbo people. After, pass after the passing of his father, when he was only 12 years old, he was elevated to the position of king. As a result, the Guinness Book of, uh, Guinness Book of World Records acknowledged him as the youngest monarch ever. You know, he became the king uh, at the age of two and that was why the guinness book of reward records acknowledged him as the youngest monarch ever after completing a number of courses of study and receiving several qualifications in the united kingdom he was honored with the position of the chancellor at the university of Ilorin. upon his return home he became the university's youngest ever chancellor 
in the process, this royal leader of Agbo was observed driving a simple black Mercedes Benz S550 Maybach 2015 model that is estimated to be worth approximately 65 million naira. The Dane of Agbo, Benjamin Ikenchuku Keagbeo Rekuzi One, is reported to have a net worth of 10 million United States dollars, which is equivalent to as a result he is one of the top 10 richest kings in nigeria please do well to subscribe to this channel like this video leave a comment please don't forget to drop a comment and share thank you so much for watching